We keep going, we all ride. People underestimate me all the time, but I'm tougher than I look. And lately, I had to become even tougher to get through all the that life has thrown at me. I came to this country alone, and I made something of myself. And when times get hard, hard, I can't fall. We keep going, we all ride. It's one love, baby, one time. Even though times get hard, hard, I can't fall. I don't know what the future will bring, but I know I can get through anything and everything because I'm one tough mother. Place. Take you out, baby. You always take me out, right? Since I haven't been able to find this right moment to tell Ra that I'm pregnant, I'm creating a right moment for us. A candlelit dinner. And then when the dessert come out, well, baby, I'm pregnant. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. I'm gonna pull you across this table. Don't be nasty, yeah. You like it like that? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so I know you told me about your mom and Sky, but how how are you? You seem so drained and I know, like I know. Uh, this is crazy. Like I feel like this is my home. I don't feel like Korea is my home. Yeah. Did you miss me? Yes, my mom. I just hope my plan goes really well. Fingers crossed. What's going on with you? Picking and moving around the floor? Jet lag or, I don't know, something. What's going on with you? Oh my god, I'm so nervous, I can't even eat! We just need to get to dessert fast! Okay. We want some dessert. Okay. Already, babe? I'm still eating. Whatever you have best, we want. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. Act normal. Everything's gonna be fine. Desserts. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. What the is this? What? This ain't no damn dessert. Oh, that's weird. Open it. Baby, do you know what that is? Oh my god, he's holding the ultrasound upside down. He ain't ready. Turn it around, baby! We're pregnant! You what? We're pregnant! <laughs> yeah, right. What? Oh, you serious? Hey, for real, I'm pregnant. That's our baby. Baby, you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm this here. is incredible. Oh my god, I'm so happy that he's happy. He is the best. And he's the man I want to be my baby Zaddy. Zaddy! You happy? Yes, I'm happy. I feel like I'm about to jump out of my body. I don't know. This is the most amazing thing ever. I'm like in shock, but this is the best shock of my life. I love Times Square. That's why I wanted to take you here tonight. I remember you telling me when you first came here from Korea, this is where you came. Let's pose. It's a really romantic gesture for Rob to bring me to Times Square tonight because Times Square is the first place that I've been to when I came to America 10 years ago. He's been so sweet since I told him about our pregnancy and I'd be swept away if it wasn't two degrees outside. Even my baby is cold. God! What time is that? Showtime! Check this out. Okay, guys, do we have any volunteers? Come over here. What are you doing? Go like this. You want to try? No. <laughs> Yo, we need two more volunteers. Right here. Come here, baby. What? Wait, 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 Rob. No, we're not doing this. I am not a tourist, and I am not a guinea pig. Why are you doing this to me? We should be shopping right now. I want you and your lovely lady to come right here next to her. Okay, baby. Stop! Put your head down. I'm <laughs> pregnant, just letting you know. Get up, DJ! Whoa! No! He did it. He did it. Come here. Handle your business. Handle your business? What's going on? Baby. What? I love you so, so much. I love you too, baby. <laughs> you mean everything to me. You're my sun in the morning and my moon at night. You keep me calm. You just brighten my days. Your love is timeless. And I know that it may seem like this time is moving fast, 
but I think this is the right time to do this, so. So nervous. Don't be nervous. How could I not be nervous? This is immigration office. Today I'm going to take the test to become an American citizen and I'm so nervous. This is a big deal for me. I couldn't even make it to the block party yesterday because I've been studying nonstop for this test. Don't, don't so be nervous. <laughs> oh. And you pregnant, they're gonna be like, bitch, you think you're bringing a plus one? I know. <laughs> I waited for this moment for 10 years and now I'm seven months pregnant and it's so important for me to have this citizenship before my baby comes. Oh, don't be nervous. I'm about to shit on my pants right now. <laughs> like, I'm about to be a U.S. citizen. This means a lot to me because when I came here, it gave me a hope that I never had. Yeah. I hated my life so much in Korea. It was so bad. <laughs> my father abused me. He was torturing me, and I was poor. I was living in a little room that was so cold. Hey, what the so How old were you when you lived here? I was 13, guys. We will run away from my father and, and be here, because at least we don't have to worry about getting beat up. Yo, a piece of me died. I had to leave, and I left with nothing. You know, I came to this country with no English, no money, nothing. It was a long struggle for me, but I'm here after 10 years, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. This means the world to me. Oh, I'm proud <laughs> of you. I came here not knowing a soul, but it didn't matter because I had a chance at a new life. There's hopes and dreams here that come true. This is hard. This is a big moment for me. Well, I'm sure you're going to do fine. I better be fine for this baby and Rob and, you know. Oh, girl, you got a lot on your plate right now. I know. Young baby, please come to door number one. Oh my god, this! Oh my god! This is it. Mel. What's wrong? I got a bad mother news. What do you mean you got bad news? I'm a citizen, bitch. do the ceremony today because I'm pregnant as The God. ceremony's Yes! Now I just have to do this ceremony real quick to get the paperwork and I am a complete American bitch! Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Okay. I hereby declare on oath. I hereby declare on oath. That I absolutely and entirely. That I absolutely and entirely. Renounce and abjure. Renounce and Say it again. Abjure. Abjure. All allegiance and fidelities. All allegiance and fidelity. Oh my God. I say infidelity. They're gonna take my citizenship away. <laughs> Big, this is getting painful. Just repeat the words. You are almost there. You've got this girl. I will support and defend the Constitution. And I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, you're a citizen of the United States. Thank States. you. You see my double chin? How are you Put it up there. Look you. Hella legit. Call me a citizen bitch. You a citizen bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. 
He has no worry. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm in love. My baby boy Nico Blue was born this morning at 4 a.m. And I already know this boy is a little sneaky because he came five weeks early. That's my son. Things were a little scary last night because he came too early. But my doctor told me that even though he's a preemie, he's so healthy that we get to take him home. You going to home? Yeah, my man. You oh tight, my man. God. Nico is so tiny and fragile and precious. I just want to keep him safe and happy and surrounded with all this love. Aww. Welcome home. Don't make my son cry now. I never knew that I could love somebody this much. The moment I held them, the love that I felt was the love that I'm missing all my life. He's gonna be like. Look, he's looking at me, check. <laughs> I am so scared to raise him, but I'm so glad that I have Rob to help me. I literally want to cry every time I look at you. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna love him forever. I love you. Oh my God, he's so cute. I love you. <laughs> Baby, stay right there. Kitty, I'll open up the shop, but Rob is at work all day, so I have to bring Nico with me. While everyone else is living it up in New Orleans, I'm stuck here, lactating all over the goddamn place. Oh my god, okay, cool. Ah. Oh, oh yes, pop my milk. Oh. <laughs> Nico, give me 15 minutes, oh my god. You okay? You hungry? You hot? No? I'm sweating. <sighs> if you told me a year ago that I'll be pumping milk from both my tits while working and taking care of a crying baby, I'd be like, ha ha, me no speak English, my This working mom stuff is way harder than I thought. Hi, nice to see you. Are you ready for me now? Follow me. Okay. Have a seat right here. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my shoes. Okay. And I just had the baby. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, congratulations. Yeah, you know, after you had the baby, you feel fat as <laughs> You know, I try to look cute today, but it's not working. Ha ha ha. So, what did you want? I want a small uh -huh. logo, it's three letter in logo, M I B. Three letters? That's easy peasy. I'll be done in two minutes. I want you, like, in the eye. I want it to look like a skyscraper. Music signs on it, some flags, some coloring in it. That's a lot in a little space. Do I have that small of a hand? Yeah. I need you to come with me. Because, you know, like, I can't trust my baby there with nobody else. Oh. Okay. With no stranger. No problem. Stranger danger. OK. Hi, how can I help? Uh, I like a tattoo. Okay. You want that today? If it's possible. Yeah, sure. Just give me 10 minutes. I'm supposed to be on maternity leave, okay? I'm about to call a I don't know, Black Egg Human Resources, because what is the point of getting this citizenship if I can't even take advantage of my maternity leave? Oh, uh, talk to me. I want a battleship. <laughs> Do babies, bro. Just get it out there. Just finish it. Hey. I'll be right back. Gotcha. Oh my God. My son has a muddy butt. Good luck, brother. Nico got a muddy butt. Thank you. <gasps> Nico. Nico, who's that? You wanna go see my mommy? Oh, come here, let me hold him. Are you finally gonna let me hold him today? 
No. You so shady. <laughs> Give him a chance to love all me. All right, all right. Hey, Nico. <laughs> I've been in full mommy mode the past couple of months, especially with Nico turning one. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. You don't like English. Take it to <laughs> Nico is my pride and joy, and the reason why I wake up every morning. I love being Nico's mom. All right, Nico's. He is really everything. He really is. We make me want to have a baby, but right. not really. If you're ready, because I don't think Rob and I were ready. I remember you saying that y'all was having some issues, but like, things have been up. We can't get along for anymore. Mm. Things have been really shaky between me and Rob. After we got married... I love you, let's get married! Yeah, well, yeah, hell yeah. Rob got hurt at work and he couldn't work for months. I had to work more, I had to pay the bills. So everything in our relationship kind of changed. I don't know if he was, like, he's depressed, but I feel like he's taking all the stress out of me and it's not fair. They like couples fight, you know? Donna, we've been fighting every day, every second. Oh, well, like, what do y'all fight about? Everything, for no reason. I just feel like he don't love me anymore. I don't know what the Don't f think that. I don't want Nico to see me sad. And I'm really, really sad every day because of that. Like, I'm, I'm like, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not sad, but, but I'm know, really Nico sad. Was not, Nico was not thinking it. Like, Nico was not doing that. He loves you. No, no when I cry, like. Nico cries. So, like, I just try to keep smile on my face all the cry. time. I just want to be strong for Nico. I really do. Because I know Nico needs a mom. Okay. You know, and a dad. You know? Yeah. The last thing I've ever wanted for my son was a broken family. I'm, I came from one. But one thing, I'm gonna hold it down for Nico. He will not ever go through what I went through, not even close. Nico deserves everything, and I'm gonna give him everything. Rob, we just had a huge fight, the worst one yet. And he packed all his up and left. He's done this before, but I think this time is for real. I've been trying my hardest to make this marriage work, but Rob don't seem like he cares anymore. It hurts me. Let me babysit. They're all freaking crazy, and I don't trust nobody with Nico. 
though. Especially them. Actually, I think maybe Walter is your best candidate here. They only let Koreans babysit. Oh, that's cool. Hi! What's going on with y'all? Nico's here. I see Nico's here. Nico, love you. Thank you to be here. HR rules. Babies do not belong in <laughs> tattoo shops. What's going on with y'all? Nothing. What am I missing? Bae's under a lot of stress. Why are you stressed? Just a little stressed because um, now I'm a single mom. <laughs> Being a single mom is kicking my ass. I'm at the mercy of this daycare schedule. Just all work, no sleep. Just makes me sad and cranky. I'm just so glad my mom said she would be coming tomorrow to help me out. You guys being helpful with... So helpful. I mean, define helpful. Um, <gasps> yes, Nico. That's what I'm saying! <laughs> the energy is off in this bitch. I don't like it. I know that everyone has a lot of stress, especially the stress that my brother Caesar is going through. I think that's the maximum that we need to worry about. Get your juju, the bad juju, beat that ass. This is bad juju. Bye. <laughs> That's right, Nico. Boo boo ba ba to that shit for real, baby. So you. Design. What inspired it? The snake represents my strength. It's underestimated the snake. Right. I love that idea of strength because, you know, I've been going through so much lately, you know. I know. But you're strong. You, you know, know you're gonna get through it. You ready for this? I'm ready. Beautiful and strong? Yes. Like, let's do this. So many times I thought I wasn't gonna make it. The pressure heavy on my shoulder, couldn't take it. No heat, no lights, trying to shake it. Now that my mom is back from Korea and she truly understands that my marriage is over, I feel like I can really start a new chapter of my life. We get live, we don't stop. So get ready, put your hands up. We keep on, let's go live. And keep steady, get your hands up. Even though it really hurt me when Rob left, I feel like I'm ready to just let go of that part of my life because we can't just hold on to the past forever. Even though times get hard, I can't fall, I've come too far. We keep going, we all right. People underestimate me all the time, but I'm tougher than I love. And lately, I had to become even tougher to get through all the that life has thrown at me. I came to this country alone, and I made something of myself. And when times get hard, One tough mother. Oh, oh my God, it is beautiful. Like oh my God, everybody's gonna be asking me where I got it done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love I it. I love it too. Hurry up, Puma. Babe, babe, my fault. Oh Bottom my God, hurry up, it's cold. I know, my bad, my bad. Come on. So for the past few months, I've been on bay to start dating again. You know, everybody needs some love. You want to find love. Everybody I needs do, I do. Love. You got to get you a little date or something. Whoa, can I date somebody when I'm ready? God. Bay knows she's pretty much a little catch. But she got to put herself out there, you know what I mean? So I'm going to set her up with a matchmaker, because Lord knows this woman needs special help. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. What brings you in today? 
I work too much, honestly, yeah. so like I don't, re I can't really meet people. So what have you seen in her dating life? It's dry, <laughs> dry like the Sahara Desert. Okay. No, don't say that because like I wasn't ready. ready. I really don't know why Puma is so focused on getting me hooked up. He doesn't think I could get a date by myself. Yes, I can. Look at me. But I haven't found a right guy, okay? I know. So I guess I would just go along with this little plan of his. What is it that you are looking for? That's the million dollar question. I don't I don't want too much, you know. I'm looking for somebody who have their own career, make their own mother yeah money, but at the same time, be there for me 100%. <laughs> if this lady can find that guy, we gotta kill him so he don't f*** it up for the rest of us. What else are you looking for? I'm right. a very sexual person, <laughs> so... That? Well, that's, that's a good start. What? <laughs> it's a muff crew. Babe, tell her what's really holding you back. Tell her. To be honest, divorced recently and I really don't care about myself <laughs> it's all about my son and I already feel bad because I wanted a family and like I couldn't make that happen for him when Rob and I got divorced I was devastated but it's really hard to date with a baby like I'm a single mother I gotta be careful it's just a lot I'd rather be alone than just risk getting into a situation and I want to do so much better for Nico. You're beautiful, you're successful, you have everything going for you and what these men are looking for. But you have to believe that and you have to be ready for it. Listen to her, she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, I think it's important to start doing some soul searching and start figuring out what really would make you happy in somebody. I think I can find you the perfect man, but I think you have to be ready and you have to be open. Key words, be open. dating after my divorce and I'm really scared to get into another relationship but I'm gonna listen to Puma and just give it a try plus I'm too fine to be alone anyways hi hey babe hi what are you doing I'm great it's a pleasure have a seat you make me kind of nervous how are you I'm great you I'm good okay Gentlemen, you know what? This might be the best $600 I've ever spent. Why do they call you Bay? That's my name. First name is Young, last name is Bay. Like B A E? Mm hmm. Okay. I was so nervous this guy might be a f. <laughs> so, just in case I want to bail, I have Rock secretly waiting in the bar, which is kind of funny. Rock of all people, he asked me out on a date already. One day, you want to step out with me on a date? Oh, I'll consider it. And we have a sign. If I do this, he better come and rescue me. But so far, this guy is so sweet and harmless. I should just be like, Rod, get me. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to Shaking Crab. All right. So I will want this, that, and this. Got you. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna be having anything right now. No, okay. It's not my preference. I'm a vegan. You're a what? I'm a vegan. I don't eat no meat products, no dairy products, anything to do with animals. I don't eat, I don't condone it. Oh, wow. why did you pick this restaurant? There's nothing you could eat here. I figured that, you know, Asian people like seafood. So. Okay. Uh, so what the f He's a vegan. That's a strike one. Asian people like seafood? No. Strike two. Plus, I need somebody who stands up for what he believes in. You a vegan and you took me to a seafood spot? Strike three! Why are you so quiet? Mm -hmm. Because you're quiet. Now you got me spilling. Second, where's Rock? Bang! Oh, hi, Zach! Hey, hey, how's that? What's going on? 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 What's
What's up, y'all? Can take a seat right here? Yeah! Can you? How's everything? Hey, this is Everything's great, thing. yeah. Well, this is kind of awkward for me. So it's like, it's supposed to be me and you getting to know each other on a one on one. So are you inviting him to our table? Or no. You don't want him to? I would, I would. It's a first date. Matter of fact, that's what we're gonna do. You guys enjoy, okay? I guess have a good one, man. You good? Thank you. <laughs> you, why are you laughing? <laughs> that guy was weird. Weird? Oh my god. <laughs> it's just <laughs> weird. So you don't you want to talk, talk about yourself. Hold on, right now, go. Uh, so yeah, I just got out of a relationship. Like, what you what you been going through? You know, from losing the crib and all that and having to start all over. Mm. And now it's like, I feel like everything is slowly getting into place. So not too long ago, after I started at Black Ink, I broke up with my girlfriend for 10 years. Party, baby. Oh, my God, what's that? Yeah. Oh, oh. I know that was true. I loved you, boy. And when we broke up, I lost all my I lost my crib. And it's been a real struggle to get back on my feet. I just got a room. So I'm starting from the bottom again. But that, that room is better than what the I've been through in the past. Yeah. Like I've been through a lot of shit. Like they don't call me rock for no reason. It's like. What do you mean? Why do they call you rock? Because I hit rock bottom too many times. Oh, really? You know, growing up, I've been homeless a lot of times. And me too. You was homeless? Yeah. Like, that just like. In my head, I can't picture you being homeless. Right, no. but you know what? I have to, you know, give it to myself. I always look clean and like. Now nah, you always gotta do that. Even when I was homeless. You yeah, know me saying? too. Yeah. Like, I'd be one of the freshest homeless people. Yeah, me too. You, you wouldn't even picture it. Right. Like I, I look good in the daytime, good. and then at night it's just cold. <laughs> cold. Right. Cold. Cold as. <laughs> and like some like just be crawling oh, in your oh. face. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. Yo, you know. I know. I always felt like there was a connection with Bay, but I just didn't know what it was. Having somebody else that's going through the same in the past, like, I never had that feeling or bond with somebody. Where were your parents when you were homeless? My mother couldn't take care of us, because, you know, she was a druggie. There was a lot of times I was on my own. One time, like, my mother, she dropped off my little brother with me, and I told her, I was like, yo, I'm homeless right now. And she's like, nobody could take care of your little brother. So I'm like, all right. I literally had to build a clubhouse by the water for me and my little brother. This clubhouse, I had to literally go to a construction site, steal some wood, tarp and all that, hammer, nails, and I built from this tree, this big ass box. You know, for a whole summer and some change, that was what I call home. I remember there was this one day and it was raining and it was like a storm in the roof because I had like this tarp over it and it blew off and my little brother, we were getting wet and I had to hold it. And he's, I'm watching him sleep and I remember I was crying. I was just like, yo, I can't deal with this Aww. And I really gave up on everything. I gave up on hope, faith. Like, I thought everything was done. Oh, why are you crying? Just listening to you and, you know, I'm like thinking about my now, you know. I really didn't expect Rock and I to have something in common. Like, I totally feel for him. I've been there, I've done that. Like, it's really hard to have nobody having your back and you're just alone in the world. I never looked back, you know, but now that I'm good, sometimes I look back. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, you know, I've been through some <laughs> right? Yeah, I've been you know through it, yeah. And you know, like, I know you don't feel like you're there yet, but you're gonna get there, you know what I'm saying? You're right. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Keep your head up. Your chin up. Bye. Bye, Pass. I decided that I owed it to myself to hear what my dad has to say. So I found a little Korean cafe that we could talk. Do you think meeting him will give you any kind of closure? 
It's up to him. If he wants to be real and talk about shit, we could talk about it. But if he's gonna be fake like he used to be, then no. I'm 한테 아빠도 제대로 못하고 이렇게 한거 나의 속에 있는 대화를 한 번도 너나 영, 영민이한테 내가 한 적이 없어. 우리가 없다. 말을 한 적이 없잖아. 아니, 그래서 그... 우리는 항상 무서움에 떨면서 살았잖아. 음. 아빠랑 우리가 어떻게 대화를 해? 우리 맨날 지옥했잖아. 진짜 기억 안 나서 그러는 거야? 아니면 진짜 모른 척 하는 거야? 기억이 진짜 안 나? 아니면 모른 척 하는 거야? 테라피에서? 아니, 그게 아니야, 그게 아니고. 기억이 진짜 안 나? 언니랑 말한 지 15년 됐지, 16년? 언니 도망갔잖아. 엄마 도망갔지? 나 도망갔잖아. 왜 도망갔어? 아빠가 잘해줬는데 도망갔어? 그래서 내가 할말 없어서 그... 아니 할 말이 없다니 할 말이 많지 난한 번도 안 때렸다고 그러는 거야 지금 <웃음> 나 아빠한테 따기 놓고 교복에 뽑혀 나가지고 피 이렇게 아빠 나 발로 뻥뻥 차가지고 나 할매할 때까지 발, 발로 뻥뻥 차고 기억도 안 나? 내가 엄마하고 니들한테 잘해주고 싶은데 그게 모든 조건에서 그게 전혀 안 되는 거야. 그래서. Why? Why did you come? What's the reason? So you can lie about things that you and I both know? He can lie all day, but he know the truth. You owe us an apology. You really do. 나는 그러면은 그래서... 우리한테 잘해주고 싶었는데 그걸 어떻게 하는지 몰라가지고 우리를 지업했다는 거야? Make no sense. He's not gonna do this. He's not gonna do this to me. And I don't know she's not gonna do this.
얘기하자고? 말을 해! 이런 분위기에서 얘기 못 하겠지? 우리 맨날 이런 분위기에서 살았잖아! 웃으면 웃는다고 때리고 울면 웃는다고 때리고 때려서 울면 더 죽여버린다고 그러고 할수 해봐야 또 네가 그런 지금 상황에서 받아들일 수도 없는 상황이고 난리가 말도 안 되는 이유지만 그래 나 말도 안 되는 이유잖아 아니, 말도 안 되는 아빠가 이유. 그렇게 말도 안 되는 이유로 우리한테 그래가지고 우리 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 I am so heartbroken like I just met my father for the first time in 13 years Did he just come all the way out here to America to see me cry again? To see me scream again? Because that's clearly what he's going for. He wants to see me cry, hurt. What kind of father does that to their daughter? conversation with my dad, so no cameras, no mics on him, okay? That's fine, babe. Get it. I reached out to my father again to talk, and I'm going to give you another chance to admit your rooms. I'm not that little girl anymore. I'm an adult. I want to talk about what the f you've done to us that changed our lives, and you owe us an apology. Father admitting that he was abusive to us will make me feel better, but it really doesn't. This makes everything even sadder because I'm never gonna think of dad, you know? Dad, the sentimental thing, and I will only think of a monster. <laughs> When I was young, see my friends was like, wow, like my friends are so lucky. The relationship that they had with their father, the love they were getting from their father. I wanted that. You know, why can't my father love me?
him acknowledging what he did to us makes me feel better. But at the same time, he's kind of still not saying sorry. So I guess we're going to keep it that way. He's never going to say sorry. And that's fine. <laughs> I see what's up with you. In Philly, Bay didn't want to speak about what happened with her pops. My, I saw my father. Yeah. I do feel better that we talked, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Now that we're back, I want to check in with her, because I got a little surprise for her. So are you OK since speaking to your pops? That was kind of rough. I'm not even going to lie. So he didn't apologize or nothing? He didn't. He said, I really didn't do anything. Like, what the f you mean you didn't do anything? I don't know, I was mad. I'm, I'm still mad, but like, I'm dealing with it. So you think that's it? You know, you're I'm... never gonna see him again? No, I mean, I wish him the best, but that's about it. You know, in some way, I think I got the answers that I was looking for. I will never understand my father's actions. And he will probably never gonna admit that he's sorry, whatever. I never even told my mother that I met with my father. She probably will kill me. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on my son, Nico, and showing him all the love that my father was supposed to show me all my life. Well, how about this? Take all that pain that's been building up inside of you, throw a T at the end of that and paint. Angry I'm paint. Now, bro, look. Angry paint, babe. Shut up. Put a T on my paint. Are you serious? Angry paint? Rob, you keep acting weird. You gonna see some angry bird. Drugs and alcohol have ruined my life. Ha! <laughs> For all this mother who did me dirty, God has my I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a perfect idea of angry painting to release some stress, you know, we're both great artists. Grab some paint, just throw it, you know, get all that anger out. towards my father and it's going away each toast. Oh my god! This will solve all my problems, but you know what? I feel lighter in my heart. Break the rule, break the rule! Party hard, party hard. A lot of times I feel like I'm mentoring Rock, but this time Rock taught me something. I'm not even gonna lie. I really like this. My painting like, look, is a million dollar painting. You have to rub your anger. I gotta write my name on it. Put this paint. Man, what the hell is wrong with Bye. you? Bye. Clean this up, Get over here. Clean this up. Right over there. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.